Okay, so hello guys. Today in this video, I'll be showing you if you have an iPhone which has the capacity of around, uh, let me show you, 256 gigabytes, and the space available in your local disk C is around uh, what do you say, 29 or 30 gigabytes. Let me show you. This is what I have, 29.5. 29 and if you want to have a backup of the iTunes, then uh, you might guess that it's a very tough job to you know uh, gather the space. <laughs> These local, the total size of my local disk C is around 104 gigabytes. So. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you how to, you know, uh, transfer the files from the local disk C to D. Uh, and that will be going through, uh, what do you say, a portal which will be created via a junction. So, this is Doraemon, we see that we have a door. So, it's like that. We will be placing an anywhere door in one local disk C and then ending in local disk T. So, it's very simple. We have to just use command prompt and then create a junction. So, let me show you how to do that. So for uh, so first you have to go to the local disk C. Uh, this is my local disk C as you can see, and then you have to go to the users folder and make sure that the hidden files are activated because first uh, in the users you have to go to the main user and then you will have to see for app data, uh, which as you can see is a hidden folder. So go over there, then select the roaming one. Uh, you'll see the Apple computer folder, and then you will see the mobile sync, which contains a folder called backup. So you don't need the one uh, that backup one so you can delete that one so you have to delete the backup folder and then go to the local disk d or any other drive where you have uh, available space for example let me show you I have 378 gigabytes free in local disk d so just create a new folder uh, for example i'm creating one and uh, i'm naming it itunes b which is the app uh, which stands for itunes backup so as you can see it's an empty folder so now you have to go to command prompt cmd and as you can see this is the command prompt and then you have to type the command which i'll link uh, i will place it in the video description down below and uh, the command is mklink this mklink uh, slash j is the junction uh, command and this is the source destination source uh, path which is app data apple computer mobile sync backup and this D slash iTunes B, this is the destination one. As you can see, I have uh, created iTunes D and then you have to press enter. As you can see that the junction created uh, line will be appearing and which means that it's successful. Uh, now let me show you how it works. So as you can see, this is the iTunes shortcut, which I have. And uh, if I place it, as you can see that uh, we have deleted the backups earlier and now this is the junction path. As you can see, this is showing it. So if you place any application, any file in the backup one, then it will be placed over here. So ye apna anywhere door hai pe. So let me refresh it over here. So as you can see that the file which was in there has now been transferred over here. So this is the junction path. So this will be quite handy for me because I wanted to, you know, test the iOS 13 beta. And for that, I needed to have a backup, but uh, it wasn't being possible for me. So yeah, this is the junction one. And I thought that why not make a video regarding this too. So I hope that you have liked my video. If you liked it, I would appreciate if you click the like button. And if you have any specific questions, do not forget to comment in the comment section down below. And this is Aditya. And I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.